Okay, so here are my week seven picks. Sorry if you guys hear me coughing a little bit because I am still having a bad cough. Feeling better though, but still. Yeah. So anyways, going on to my picks. Uh, first up, we have an absolute blowout coming up. We have the Kansas City Chiefs and the Denver Broncos. This game's a mile high. Uh, yeah, give me Kansas City. Even though they lost two in a row, Kansas City is going to get it figured out. Patrick Mahomes is going to get back on track against this Denver team, against this awful Denver team. But my God, are the Kansas City Chiefs the best offensive team in football right now? Even though they do, they have struggled in their past few games. But, like, come on. Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes, and I think the Chiefs are going to end up winning this one by final 45-14. to Okay, here's another absolute massacre. We have the San Francisco 49ers and the Washington Redskins. This game's at D.C. Uh, yeah, give me F- w- San Francisco here. The Washington Redskins are just god-awful. They're one of the worst teams in the league. It's not the worst team in the league. But, yeah, San Francisco's going to freaking kill Washington. I got San Francisco winning by final of 45-3. to three. Okay, we have the Arizona... We got a potential trap game. We have the Arizona Cardinals and the New York Giants. This game's in New York. Uh, the Cardinals coming off a win over the Texans. And the Giants coming off a loss to the Patriots. Sorry about that, guys. Um, uh, so anyway, back again, Giants-Cardinals. This is a potential trap game. I'm going to go with the Giants in a close one here. I think the Cardinals keep it close. But in the end, I think uh, Daniel Jones is going to propel the Giants to a win. And and I think Saquon's going to be back for this game. So you got to utilize Saquon a lot. But I got New York winning by final of 27-24. Okay, we have the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts. This game's at Indy. Uh, I'm going to take the Houston Texans here. They've been playing good football, but the Colts, man, they're coming off a bye week, but the Texans have owned them in Indianapolis. <sighs> Foolish lately. Like, the Texans always beat the Colts in Indianapolis now these days. I'm taking the Texans to win here by final of 32 to 26. I think it's going to be a very high scoring game. Okay, moving on, we have the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions. This game is at Detroit. The NFC North is so, oh, oh, tough. It's the toughest division in football right now. Um, literally, like, no team in this division is below 500. That's how good this division is right now. I got the Vikings winning just to put pressure on us in the NFC North. So I think Minnesota's going to win here. And it's Detroit at home. Oh, wait. You know, Detroit was screwed, but so was Green Bay. The refs are awful on both Ends. I think the Vikings will win by final of 27 to 26. I think it's going to be a close one. Moving on, we got another lock. We got another massacre kind of with the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals. This game's at Cincinnati. Uh, yeah, give me the Jags here. I think Gardner Minshew is going to go off off, and just absolutely rip, rip Cincinnati apart. This basically will end Cincinnati's season. I think... The Jags won by final of 35 to 3. Okay, inter- okay, here's another okay, here's another massacre. We have the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. This game's a Buffalo. Yeah, give me Buffalo. No explanation needed. Give me the Bills. The Dolphins are the worst team in the league by far. Give me the Give me the Bills to win by final of 49 to 7. Okay, then moving on, we have the L.A. Rams and the Atlanta Falcons. This game's in Atlanta. Uh, we have two very overrated quarterbacks. You have Jared Goff and Matt Ryan. Jared Goff is overrated because this dude, without his targets and Todd Gurley in the run game, you basically stop. You, This dude's basically useless. Then you look at Matt Ryan, you know, take Julio Jones out, take Calvin Ridley out, take... Devontae Freeman out. Take the receiving core he has out. Take the run game he has out. Matt Ryan is a is a bad quarterback. This dude is overrated. Aided. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be a high scoring game. Even though the Rams got Jalen Ramsey, he has he can't cover good 
receivers like Julio Jones. Like Julio Jones burnt Jalen Ramsey last time. Julio Jones was one on one with Jalen Ramsey. So yeah, I think the Atlanta Falcons are gonna get this win. They're at home. I whenever I'm unsure of who to pick, I go with the home team, and the Falcons are the home team, so I'm gonna take the Falcons here in a shootout. I will say this. Atlanta I think will get better, but honestly, they're just disappointing. I got Atlanta winning by final of 45 to 41. This is gonna be a high scoring game. Hang on. Okay, we got my boys. We got the Green Bay Packers and the Oakland Raiders. This one is Green and Lambeau. Yeah, this is another massacre here. Give me Green Bay. No way we lose to Oakland at home. Oakland is by far. Oakland is probably the worst team in the AFC West. If not Denver, it's Oakland. But my God, is Oakland. God, we don't ever lose to the Oakland Raiders. We have not lost to Oakland at home um, in, all, in years. We're unbeaten against Oakland at home. Um, and we're unbeaten against Oakland at home in preseason. We always freaking beat them. So, yeah, give me us here. Okay, we got a bet at the trash game of the week. We have the L.A. Chargers and the Tennessee Titans. This game's in Nashville. Uh, I'm, gonna take the, I'm taking the Chargers here because I hate the freaking Titans so much and pick them. Well, I'm not picking the Titans to win until they can become consistent. I got the Chargers winning here by final of 28 to 21 in a tight game for all the wrong reasons. We got a potential game of the week here, but there's a game that one ups that. We got the Baltimore Ravens and the Seattle Seahawks. This game at Seattle. The Bengals gave up 497 yards to Lamar freaking Jackson. Like, come on. Lamar Jackson is a running back at quarterback. Russell Wilson, you can say the same with him, but at least Russell Wilson has a good arm. Russell Wilson can throw the ball well. Well, if anyone is the next Michael Vick but doesn't get in trouble, it's Russell Wilson. This guy... This guy actually can be the next Michael Vick. Because if you think about it, Russell Wilson is... Wilson has a good arm, just like Michael Vick. Family Seattle hat. It's at Seattle. I'm going to take the Seahawks here to win here by a final of 27. 7 to 21. I think it's going to be a tight one. Oh, and I have us winning by final of 40 to 19. That's going to be a walk. Okay. We get the game of the week. We have the New Orleans Saints at the Chicago Bears. This game's at, Chicago, at Soldier Field. Uh, the Saints coming off a win over Jacksonville. The Bears are coming off a bye week. Yeah, the Bears were off last week. But yeah, even if the Bears weren't on a bye, I'm going to pick the Saints here. Here. I mean, well, they may not know Chase Daniel, but some of them know Mitch Trubisky. Some of them know him. And well, some of, most of them know their kicking game. Aim is not that good. But the Bears' defense is why it will be close. Their offense is awful. If they actually had a good thing, they've got a defense. They've got a Super Bowl caliber defense. Problem is, their offense is horrible. I'm going to take the Saints to win here. I think the Saints are, prob are, Saints are still going. Um, I think the Saints are going to win here in a very tight game. I got the Saints winning by final. Of 27 and 24. I think their defense forces a key turnover at the end of the game. Aim to win them the game. Okay, for the one millionth time on Sunday Night Football, we had the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. This game's a game's a Dallas. For God's sake, why is this on Sunday night? Bears and Saints should be on Sunday night football. What the absolute heck? But anyways, Eagles not that good. Cowboys not good. Cowboys, the Cowboys freaking suck. How do you lose to the freaking Jets? Like, come on. The Jets are... 
The Jets are freaking hopeless, and you lose to them. God, the Cowboys suck. The refs tried getting them back in the game, and they still couldn't hit the two-point conversion. But anyways, yeah, give me Phil, give me Philly. They always do well. Well, in Dallas, and they know Dak Prescott. Philly's defense knows Dak Prescott, and I think they're gonna take it on him. I got Philly winning by final of thirty-three to six. I think Dallas gets shut down. Um. Okay, why is this a Monday night game? I don't know why this is the Monday night football game, but whatever. New England Patriots, New York Jets. This game's a game's a game's a Met Life. Yeah, New England, no contest, no contest. New England's the team to beat. They're gonna win easily. New England easily here. New England wins. This is my. This is my. Yeah, this is my blowout for the week. New England wins 52-10. to 10. And anyway, that's it.